Hello, this is Beth from Wave. How's it going? Here's the weekly update on the NASDAQ. So today, as always, here on the channel, we're going to take a look at the NASDAQ, see what's happening, what could be happening using our wave theory. Now, before we get started, I want to say a couple of things. We're going to take a look at the NASDAQ today. Most likely, we'll also take a look at some major components. We might take a look at Apple, Microsoft. I also want to take a look at Visa, and then we'll take a look at uh, Google too. We'll just quickly go over the counts and uh, to just get a better overall idea of what could be happening. Now, as always, I'll try not to edit the video too much. Actually, I'll try not to edit it at all, so you guys get to see the full process. But most of the counts are already there. Just gonna talk you through it and see what we can try to forecast now. Here today, I'm taking a look at the weekly chart on the NASDAQ just to take a look at the overall situation of what's going on. So, again, the dot com bubble, so 2000 2001, that's what we labeled as the larger degree wave two that we've had so far in the NASDAQ. Now, you could argue this is A, B, C or double X Y, you could argue this is one two. Now I do prefer the one two because I can see five ways up into wave one, one, two, three, sideways four, up and five. I see five and I see three. That's what it, it's clear to me, so I label it as one two. Now we rallied indeed into a cycle of wave three. And it looks like we did topped in cycle wave three. Now for the past weeks, months we have called the bottom a wave four right here at ten thousand five hundred dollars that's what we call the bottom now is it possible that we've collapsed back down and we pull back go back to ten thousand ish yes it is however it does look a bit unlikely uh, given the stocks i mean just the components as well as the index itself so that being said, one thing I want you to notice is one of the main question is, so assuming this is a way four in place and we did obviously, if this is a way four, we completed this way through, where is this way five going to end? Now, one thing we usually look for in the other way theory is equality of wave one and five. That's very ta many times a target for a wave five to be as long as wave one. Now, if we take the measure of wave one here, connect it, then equality stands at $29,000. However, 61.8%, the length of uh, one, so five being uh, actually shorter, uh, 61.8% left for one stands at 19,645, roughly 20,000. So I say that because let me zoom in onto the daily chart. And before I tell you why, I just want to take a quick moment to just let you guys know about the Discord. It's a brand new Discord. You'll find the link in the description of this video, and it's completely free. And you'll find many other people talking about stocks, indices, cryptos, forex and just training in general everything is based on the LA theory and you'll find me there i'll share stuff i'll give feedbacks i'll get feedback so just a growing community of LA wave analysts hope to see you there so back to the nasdaq what the reason why i wanted to draw your attention to this number is because and here it is a bit messy i do apologize but Trading view sometimes doesn't really want to cooperate. Shout out to Trading View for if you guys I mean Trading View if you want to fix all the bugs. I'm not going to oppose. Anyways, let's delete this on the daily. Let's delete this on the daily. So here, if you watched last week's videos, if and if you haven't, I do recommend you guys do. Because I like views. Um anyways, jokes so far, seriously. Um here. I have this kind of as one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Now I know, and I've said in every video, every update, I know people have this as the bottom here. They call this bottom. You know, they have some sort of wave uh, W, X, and Y. So this is A, B, C of Y here, and they call this a bottom. So they have one, two, three, four, five. 
they are calling some sort of wave one and now they're looking for downside now that's a possibility however thinking about and let's go back thinking about this 19,000 target what if this kind is correct and main takeaway of this video is that it looks like we might have topped here some sort of a top here on the Nasdaq as well as the other indices because if we take a look at RSI we do have divergence if we go back just for a second on the weekly chart we do have strong divergence this was a third of a third it was the strongest wave strongest momentum and now momentum is, uh, is getting lower it, and we are seeing bearish divergence so it looks like we might have topped here on the Nasdaq as well as the other indices nonetheless this was what I called, as you can see here, the conservative count, a one, two, three, sideways four, up and five, and downside here. And this was the bullish count, which is very close to invalidation. So it's more bullish, and it looks like, we'll take a look in just a second at some stocks, and given the components of the NASDAQ, it looks like this might be the actual count. Now, if this is a count, way three in place, Let's say we do get a pullback. We actually might retrace all the way back to 15,000. I would expect 15,000 to act as support if we do get there, but we might. Um, that could happen by the end of Q1, I guess, but we'll see. Nevertheless, let's say that happens, or we do get a sideways wave four, still getting towards 15,000, and then we move back up into wave five. Then at that point, we could aim to 20,000, and 20,000 is also 6.8 times cycle wave 1 against wave 5. So at that point, and again, what I like to say in everyday life is that's a problem for our future shelves, but if really, let's say we want to invest, we want to buy, and by the way, these obviously are not financial advice, but let's say some of you do because of many reasons, not because I say so, then you do need to take into consideration your target. And based on every wave, what if this is actual top? So this needs to be moved one degree higher. Now that's a possibility. However, I do remain a bit more bullish. Why? Still, same same thing, same story over and over by looking at individual stocks. This could be wave one of five. We pull back and then resume higher. So I do remain bullish, but let's say for the next months, I do expect this way forward to start to develop. Now, again, it's a bit early to say we do have a top, but it, it looks like we, we, we have one, especially if we manage to break these lows, then we do have additional confirmation. And um, at that point, we could either still have five ways up, three down, five up. So it really needs, we need to see how we come down here from this um, almost $18,000 top. So that being said, that's basically the NASDAQ in a nutshell. As always, let me know in the questions if, uh, sorry, let me know in the comments if you have questions. Uh, I'm happy to, to enter as well as obviously if you want to talk more, just join the Discord and you can ask me questions there. Now, let's take a look at some stocks. Now, Nvidia is the most bullish one. And short term count, I see a one, two, three, four for here. Now, some people have this as a one, two, one, two. Let me show you one, two, one, two. I have it as a complex because I did not like this wave up here. I saw it as a three wave move. Nonetheless, it looks like we might still get a bit more upside here on Nvidia. We just hit a quality of, of three against one. So we might pull back in wave four maybe, but nevertheless, it looks like we still have a bit more um, upside to go here on NVIDIA. It's a bit different for Microsoft as this is a count. Now I have this as a one of complex two, up in three, a very sh I mean, sharp wave four, simple ABC, and then one, two, three, four, five. Now I am calling a top here, could be potential wave one and I'm looking for downside, again, potentially going all the way back to $300. Um, again, as always, we're looking for the largest number available, and that would be 300 as we found 
resistance here on top of $400. Now that, if we take a look at the weekly chart for just a second, we do have a major one, two major uptrend. You can see, despite the fact that we are on log scale, you can see how this looks exponential, nevertheless, which means it's very strong. And um, I do have, I mean, I, I'm wondering if this is one, two, three, four, and five, that's possible, but that would take us into quite the bear market, possible, or else again, just like you see it, one, two, three, four, five, and then something like this. But I mean, if you want to be conservative, then one, two, three, four, five. Um, or else this could be, um, I mean, this could be wave uh, three, pairing up to this wave two, but this is wave one of five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we uh, correct. But again, just want to take a quick look at it. And then Apple is a bit uh, confusing in my opinion. There's a case for a one, two, and then maybe I have to go on the intraday to show you guys. A one, two, one, two. Now in my last video, I did get a comment about how this looks like a three wave move. And I do agree. Um, that's why I also struggle to count it as a five wave move. I do agree that this looks like ABC. ABC. So I was um, advised, I was advised, it's not, might not be the right word, but um, the, the viewer, which thanks for watching, as always, um, suggested that perhaps this is wave one of five of this wave five of an ending diagonal. So we might see some overlapping structure here to the upside. Nevertheless, we'll see. It looks like we are headed to break these lows and maybe we might get a turn higher. I guess we'll see. Uh, but obviously you could argue this count is not in line with the NASDAQ. Um, so that's something odd we'll, we'll have to watch. Even though um, Apple has been overperforming compared to the overall market lately. So I have, I have to say that. And um, Facebook here, Meta, again, looking for, I mean, I can see a bit more upside to come, but I do see a top being in place soon with Meta. And uh, Google, Google looks like it topped here. And now we could easily go back towards 130, 120. And at that point, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see what's going to happen. Uh, but this looks like a whole wave move might be completed. So do we, do we need to be concerned? It, it depends. Um, if you're a long-term investor, just, you know, that something larger might, might happen. And it's, I mean, it's not a surprise because we've been rallying since November of last year. So Q4 of 2020, sorry, 2022. So two years ago, um, already almost, I mean, still Q4 of 2022. So you, it's not a surprise that some larger pullback would have eventually come. Now, as always, if you have questions, let me know that in the comments, if you want to stay updated and uh, you want to ask me more then just join the discord again it's free and i hope to see you there and to all of you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one